My goodness, I'm so sorry. I was checking all the news. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost track of time. I looked up and I went, oh my goodness, it's after 7 o'clock. My faithful followers will wonder where I am. So sorry about that. I apologize. Uh, like I said, I was trying to, uh, to get, <laughs> I was trying to get all the news and everything posted as quickly as I could. So, uh, anyway, sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Let me get my little earbud in so I can hear, make sure it's going out. Hold on, well, evidently I can't read this morning. My eyesight must be gone too. Since I work for an eye doctor, there we go, I can tell I'm going out. All right, good morning, everybody. This is Vicki Davis, Better Late Than Never, uh, and the morning show here at WCAC-TV. Uh, it's Thursday, September the 5th, and uh, today, hey, what? how appropriate. Be late for something day. So guess what? I'm late for being on the show. Okay, International Day of Charity and Jewelry Rights Day. The Altamaha River level is at 3.75 feet, and the Canoochee River level is at 1.33 feet. And um, I have checked, and there's no obituaries uh, to read this morning. But uh, the... Uh, Disaster Recovery and Redevelopment Town Hall meeting that was scheduled for tonight has been postponed. Uh, a follow-up uh, invitation to this meeting will be sent out later. Okay. And the Wayne uh, Memorial Hospital is having a fundraiser sale. It's for gifts and anniversaries. This will be... Oh, everything, it starts at $3 and nothing is over 6 Cash, credit, and debit accepted. Begins Tuesday, September the 17th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday, September the 18th, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Thursday, September the 19th from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that is at Wayne Memorial Hospital in the lobby. And, of course, uh, I think everybody knows where they're located, 865 South 1st Street. Okay, and one of the things that I was doing was, um, and remember, schools are still out. They will start back in the morning. Uh, so I don't have to read the lunch menu until in the morning. Uh, so some of the things that are happening here in Wayne County, the uh, Jessup Police Department is going to be offering CPR classes Thursday, September the 26th at 530. Uh, that, uh, let's see, and that is at the Jessup Police Department located at 642 East Plum Street here in Jessup. And you can call... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the, the, the fee is $28 to cover the cost of the course and the certification card. Bring, please bring the exact fee because we cannot make change and you must be 12 years of age or older to participate. And Lieutenant Greg Rozier, if you would like to uh, go to that class, it's 912-256-4622. And they're having Monday, September the 30th, beginning at 7 p.m., the, uh, the, the Women's Firearm Safety Course. And that is also at the police station at 642 East Plum Street here in Jessup. And if you want to sign up for that, uh, call Lieutenant Greg Rozier at 912 256 46-22. And uh, please, they are emphasizing no weapons, 
no ammunition. You will be using a training weapon for this class. And uh, we are so fortunate that we were able to uh, have nothing happen to us in our area. Uh, I know that parts of the coast were hit by it. I was watching the news uh, just about all day yesterday. And the, the weather, you know, the, the coastline was hit pretty hard. Uh, if, if that hurricane had come any closer to us, we would have gotten a lot of wind and rain. So we were so fortunate this time. And uh, now, you know, it's going on up into South Carolina and North Carolina. But we have been to really, really blessed this time not to have any damage uh, whatsoever. I know a lot of things were closed, the schools, the county offices. Uh, I was just reading here uh, on a note that they were closing um, at noon and they will be closed all day September the 5th. So that's the county offices. You never know because if you didn't take these precautions, then we would have been bombarded with rain and wind and all kind of things. So it's best to go ahead and take precautions ahead of time so that if anything happens, then that way you know that uh, everybody is going to be safe. And I've always, you know, people are saying, Oh, my goodness, we didn't get anything. Why did everybody close? Why did this? Why did that? But you know what? It could have happened the other way. So let's remember that that's why things closed was because of the precautions everyone was taking uh, ahead of the storm. And there's a lot more storms out there that they're watching. So we may not be as fortunate the next time, but hopefully we will be. But um, just know that you know, that, that is happening uh, because of people taking precautions, and we appreciate that. Uh, the Georgia DOT, I was coming into the station this morning, and there was just vehicle after vehicle, truck after truck, uh, coming over the overpass. And so I don't know if they were heading over to Glenn County to help them out, uh, you know, or the coastal areas. Um, I don't know, but they were heading in that direction, and they, so uh, they may have been coming home. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, there was a lot of trucks heading out over the overpass this morning, uh, heading out, and it looked like going to the Brunswick area the, uh, out that way. Uh, we are just so fortunate that we did not have anything happen. I know uh, the city of Jessup, the online bingo that they were supposed to have uh, tonight is going to be postponed until September the 12th, and that will be at 7 p.m. Uh, so please make sure that you, if you like to play bingo, that you sign up for this. I may be able to do it this time. I'm excited. Most of the time, they have it on our uh, meeting nights, and I'm not able to, um, to do the online bingo. But go to the City of Jessup City Hall uh, Facebook page and find out how to get your card so that you can play Facebook online bingo through the city of Jessup. Okay. And the football soccer officials meeting Thursday, that was for tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, at the new recreation office located off Henson Mosley Road, between Ben Park and Babes Field. If you are unable to attend, please call the office at 427-5915. So that's football soccer officials meeting Thursday, and that's today at 6 p.m. at the new recreation office 
located off Henson Mosley Road between Ben Park and Babes Field. Call 427-5915 if you are not able to attend. And like I said yesterday morning, um, and I apologize for not being able to show the City of Jessup meeting. I had problems with, I downloaded it, I edited, I got it ready uh, to download, and I kept having problems. So I eventually had to go home and just leave it, so I'm trying to download it again. So hopefully I can get that fixed and ready to put on the air for everyone in, uh, this evening if I'm not able to get it on for today. So, but... I was telling everyone about the big drug bust that happened Tuesday afternoon, and uh, the Jessup Police Department's ACE team conducted a traffic stop on Marcus Adrian Stevenson, 29 years of age, of Scriven. Following a brief roadside investigation, Stevenson attempted to flee on foot, but was quickly apprehended. K-9 Yell was deployed on Stevenson's vehicle and gave a positive alert for the odor of drugs. A search revealed approximately 7.5 ounces of marijuana. Subsequently, <laughs> I don't know why I was going subsequently, uh, a search warrant was secured and executed on Stevenson's residence at 312 Pine Street in Scriven, uh, with the assistance of the Scriven Police Department, material associated with illicit drug distribution was located inside of the residence, along with over 11,000. Uh, in total, there was $11,743 was seized in this investigation. Of course, he was charged, and uh, Mike Lane was telling us about uh, how Yale was right on it. And I said, I said, that Yale has been awesome in, in taking care of business, and I hope they give Yale a big old treat for all that he has done to get drugs off of the street. So we thank uh, the K-9 unit and, of course, all of the people, the police departments, the Jessup Police Department and the Scriven Police Departments who were able to handle this Tuesday afternoon. So, uh, and I asked Mike Lane about this at the city meeting, and he was telling me that they had a, uh, a tip, and that's how important these tips are that come in to the police department uh, because they were able to stop him and then because they stopped him, then this happened. So please, people, if you know of any illegal activities going on, please let the authorities know about it. So we appreciate that. Garbage pickup will be uh, picked up today as, as usual. Um, a lot of stuff I posted on here about about the hurricane and different things. But, hey, as soon as I saw things coming in, then I announced it. And the Teacher of the Year for Wayne County is Scriven Elementary's teacher, Lisa Kicklider. And we thank Lisa, or we uh, give her our congratulations that she was chosen. The... First Baptist Church here in Jessup, Georgia, has been doing a wonderful thing this week. They are feeding people, and from what I understand, uh, Edna Ruth, Edna Williamson, um, she posted that they, I think at one time they had fed over 200 people, or maybe it was 500 people. They fed a huge amount of people. This is first responders. These are the people who are coming through and helping us. Uh, school children who would have been given a warm meal. Even people that just came in and wanted to have company uh, for lunch. You know what I mean? Uh, 
yeah, you know, they just wanted to come in and be with other people. Uh, but they're doing that again today, and lunch will be served between 11.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. So please make sure that uh, if you want to go and have a hot meal today, the First Baptist Church here in Jessup, Georgia, is feeding people. Okay. And the Three Rivers Regional Library System is having September is Library Card Sign-Up Month. So just go on down to on our Facebook page and keep scrolling, and you'll see the little cute picture of the Toy Story characters. And click on to that link, and it will take you to learn more about the Three Rivers uh, System in our area. So, I saw all the cones were gone this morning when I came in. All the orange cones that were there on Cherry Street. As you were coming into Jessup from Brunswick. So, uh, all that was, was gone. So, guess what? It's all getting back to normal. And I keep scrolling up. Scriven. Uh, is going to be having um, their second annual barbecue cook-off, and uh, that will be October the 19th. Now, if you would like to participate in the cook-off, you need to go by Scriven City Hall and then uh, go pick up your registration form. You need to be registered by October the 18th. So, and also, the Cornhole Tournament is going to go on that day. There's going to be music. There's going to be the food. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things. So, uh, the, again, the Cornhole Tournament, and you have to register for that by October the 18th. So, please, if you want to do either one, then uh, make sure that you go and register at Scriven City Hall before October the 18th to be involved in the annual barbecue cook-off. Uh, the 2019 Minicon 8 will be at the Wayne County High School. That's located at One Jacket Drive here in Wayne County. And it's all ages media and game convention. It's the annual fundraiser for the Wayne County High School Gamma Student Organization and eSports team. And each year this little event gets bigger and bigger. And they have more and more wonderful uh, speakers to come in. And so they just have a wonderful time there. Dr. Rob Patton started this. And we appreciate so much him doing it. And we thank him for uh, getting this started at the high school. Okay, I'm still going on down. There's a lot of hurricane stuff. <laughs> and Labor Day. Okay. Uh, the uh, memorial, 9-11 memorial, will, be, will, of course, be on September the 11th at 8.30 a.m. And this will be at the courthouse. It will be going on from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And... Uh, like I said, at the Wayne County Courthouse. So if you're able to attend, the 9-11 uh, Memorial Tribute will be going on at the courthouse on Wednesday, September the 11th. And the Wayne County Substance Abuse, uh, they are going to be having recovery in the park. That will be this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, that's at Babes Park, 479 Henson Mosley Road here in Jessup. If you have any questions, call them at 427-8273. So that will be this Saturday, Wayne County Substance Abuse Drug Court. Pineland is hosting their second annual recovery in the park. They're going to have popcorn, pizza, hot dogs, and raffle prizes, bounce houses for the kids, and adult games, too. Uh, then they will also have speakers with all pathways of recovery, and everything is free. This Saturday at 
Babes Park, 479 Henson Mosley Road. And this uh, Saturday, we will be showing uh, the 4-H video of their times at summer camp that will be going on. I'll be showing that at 10 o'clock, and then it will rotate throughout the day. Also, story time with Jumpin' June Bugs. Uh, that will be pl we will be showing that this Saturday, uh, probably around, let's see, 11-ish. Uh, so please stay tuned, and I'll probably throw in some cartoons also to make Saturday more fun. But uh, that's going to be played. So pass the word if you have anyone in 4-H. Uh, let them know that we are going to be showing the video of their summer camp this Saturday at 10 o'clock. And then uh, story time with Jumping June Bugs will also be around 11. Okay. And if you would like to work with the 2020 Census, uh, they are taking people part-time, full-time, uh, however many hours you can work. And you can go online, 2020census.gov backslash jobs, to go on there and apply for a job in the 2020 Census. And they're needing, like I said, all, all uh, types. They need full-time and part-time. And Southern Bell Bar and Grill, they're going to be opening up Tuesday, September the 10th at 4 o'clock. Uh, they are going to, they are building is, they're going into the old uh, Craft 44 building that's behind McDonald's. And Monday through Friday, they will have $5 lunch specials of various home-cooked dishes like meatloaf and spaghetti casserole from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then Wednesdays for unlimited beer, fries, and wings for $25. So that's Southern Bell at Bar and Grill behind McDonald's, uh, the, the Old Craft 44 building. Christmas in the Park, Scriven, Georgia, Thursday, December the 12th at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And, of course, they're going to have the snow again. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. They're going to have food and beverages and uh, photos with Santa, uh, just all kinds of things, horse and buggy rides, tree lighting. Oh, just, oh, it's, you know, it's hot outside, but just think that's going to be so much fun. So remember, Christmas in the Park, Scriven, Georgia, Thursday, December the 12th at 6 p.m. And Odom. Yes, Odom, that's coming up. That will be the first Saturday of October will be Odom Day. Of course, at 10 o'clock, the parade starts off, and they will be coming down, and all the little ball teams and the, and the dance studios. I remember my children being in the Odom Day Parade, spending so much time over there in Odom when my children were small. They had so much fun. So anyway, that will be happening the first Saturday of October. Now, there's also a dance taking place. Odom Day Dance, Saturday, October the 5th. The doors will open at 630 at the Odom City Gym, and if it's um, $10 for advanced tickets, 15 at the door. So remember, you can pick up those tickets at uh, Odom City Hall. Go ahead and get your T-shirt while you're there for the Odom Day, and then you can also get raffle tickets that will be raffled off on Odom Day, uh, that day. So 
all kind of things you can get at Odom City Hall right now. So make sure that you attend Odom Day and also that you go to Odom City Hall and pick up all kind of things. Dutch Ford Farm, Food Truck and Vintage Market, October the 11th through the 12th. Uh, there will be having all kind of things going on. If you would like to be a vendor, uh, there is a website that you can go to to be to uh apply for one of those and so that is happening october the 11th and 12th dutch ford farm that's over in metter okay just looking on down i haven't got any notices about the uh, farmers market so i'm not sure uh, about the farmers market this weekend but if I have anything I'll, I'll post it on our Facebook page so make sure that you keep watching and just in case they're having anything at the farmers market okay I'm going oh well that's the same thing I just talked about about the recovery uh, at the park so all right people I think I've just about, uh, oh, here we go. Shane's Crib, they're having an evening of abundant grace, uh, the fifth annual gala and auction, Saturday, September the 21st, benefiting Living Waters. Uh, that's part of Shane's Crib expansion project. And for more information, call 912-385-2583. And the dinner and program uh, starts at 5.30, but the doors open and the silent auction starts at 5. Uh, the admission is $25, and it will be at Unity Church of God Gymnasium, 1580 Sunset Boulevard, here in Jessup. Okay. And... The Wayne County Arts Council, we got a bunch of stuff coming up. Tell you what, and I have to hurry because I only have a minute or two to get it all in. But we're having our um, murder mystery theater dinner. That will be Saturday, September the 21st at 7 p.m., uh, we will have a wonderful time. Uh, we'll have a great meal. And then you can try to figure out who done it uh, as the cast, as they move around and, 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 uh, and put together this uh, murder mystery. And so there will be clues, and, and you can sit there and figure, try to figure out what's going on. Uh, the tie-dye class is Saturday, September the 28th from 12 to 3, and that will be only $2 per shirt. You bring your own shirt, a white or a light-colored shirt, and you uh, then it's only $2 per shirt. Glow-in-the-dark paint classes Saturday, October the 5th, beginning at 7 p.m. The first one will be moonlight madness and then the next one will be october the 19th at 7 p.m and it is called nerd night so go ahead and sign up for these classes because seating is limited and the cost for that is 35 dollars so have we're going to have so much fun with all of our events that um that's going on here in our art center and i i'm still amazed when i talk to people and i say this is going on at the art center and they go we have an art center people i don't know how else we can get the word out that we have an art center uh we talk about it all the time we're always in the newspaper uh Hey, it, I mean, we're go. There's stuff going on all the time down here. Uh, open mic night. We've been having that. We've been having free classes. Uh, open studio on um, Monday nights and on Friday night, Monday mornings and Friday nights. 
kids, and I tell you what, we've got kids art school going on on Thursdays. That'll be happening today between 4.30 and 5.30. So I got to get out of here. But go to our website. It will come up across the crawler sometime today. Uh, have a great day. Be blessed because we were able to not have anything happen to us during this storm. But think about the others who are going through it and have already gone through it. Uh, please be kind to one another. Smile at everyone you meet. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.